Hi there, welcome to the latest episode of my 10 minute moan. The topic of this 10 minute moan is an outrageous situation today where the SNP ministers claimed they've not enough time to read the cash report. Okay, um, and as usual, please, if you want to help the channel, just hit the thumbs up button down there, take a half a second. Thanks. So, Scottish Government's long awaited statement on the cash review flopped after Public Health Minister Jenny Minto failed to announce anything except another working group to deal with the report. She was accused of appeasing the Scottish Greens to keep the Butte House Agreement in place rather than helping gender-confused children. Instead, she said that the SNP executive need more time to read the 400-page report and discuss the 32 recommendations in it. Puberty blockers prescribed to those under the age of 18 has already been paused in line with the review, which provoked anger within the Greens grassroots membership, which I find is a bit weird, seeing as it's not an environmental issue. This provoked anger within the chamber, that chamber being Scottish Parliament, especially from Scottish Tory Deputy Leader Megan Gallagher, who repeatedly requested a ministerial statement last week in Parliament, but this was rejected. She said this sorry excuse for a ministerial statement will no sorry will offer no comfort to families who have been failed by gender care services in Scotland because the Scottish Government's direction of travel on this vital issue remains as clear as mud. As well as passing the buck to the health board for the decision to pause puberty blockers to new patients patients, this statement does not confirm whether the government will implement any of the thirty two cash review recommendations, nor does it address the cut to gender care services. The Nationalist Coalition claims that it supports young people who experience gender distress, yet members of its own government have publicly dismissed the findings of evidence-based expert report. Today's exercise in kicking the can down the road and stalling for more time shows that the SNP are more concerned with holding together their fragile pact with the dogmatic Greens than in the health care of vulnerable young people. Sounds like a fair comment. She goes on, Parents and young people need a meaningful response to CAS and an assurance that ministers will follow the science rather than the ideology. Scottish Labour MSP Carol Mocken also blasted the statement, pointing out that sitting in the fence to predict the stability of the Butte House Agreement is a terrible position. Kind of... Can he really argue with that, Carol? Deputy Leader of the party, Jackie Bailey, was equally scathing when she said the cash report is a four-year-long piece of work that's evidence-based, informed by expert clinicians and those with lived experiences. So it deserves to be treated seriously. Yet this statement feels more like a sop to the Greens to keep the Butte House agreement live. Miss Minto was asked repeatedly if her government agreed with Patrick Harvey, who disputed the results of the review, claiming there was too much criticism of it, but refused to answer the question. She instead outlined plans for senior, senior medical officers to consider the clinical recommendations in the report. So there we have it. This document that came out last week, 400 pages, that's quite a lot, but you would think if you're a minister, you can read and you could probably digest 400 pages of um, information over the course of a couple of days. So it seems to me that they don't want to say anything about the cash report. Now, if you say anything um, against the cash report, and you want to dispute it, then you'll look a bit weird based on who wrote it as opposed to you. They also, the SNP put themselves in a funny position where they'd already claimed that it was only right last week that the NHS Scotland could make a decision about the puberty blockers and before they wanted to say anything, they wanted the, the families of young children on these things and you know, going through the process to be given the information before the public. Well, that's not really um, going to, you know, going to work but you know if you if you say right i get that and i agree with that stance then they all know everybody we a kid in scotland going through any gender transition stuff will know okay they've probably been able to read the 400 pages of 
the CAS report. Now, this is where it gets a bit bizarre because just because you might not like the findings in the CAS report because they might not sit with your own politics and opinion on the subject, you can't you can just disregard them because you don't like them. When it's four years worth of um, report, uh, four years worth of investigation and then there is report by professional people, by clinicians and by people who have worked with children and child's health. So, you can't disagree with it. If you disagree with it like that crackpot Patrick Harvey, then you are putting ideology before science. And that's just ridiculous. <clears throat> and if you remember through COVID, every time we heard the SMP open their mouth, they said we were all to trust science. So, four years later, we've not to trust science. We've to read 400 pages, and God knows how long that'll take them, and they've not been able to do it already, and then decide if you want to go with any of the recommendations or not. Which is completely opposite to what you told us all through COVID, when we were just to believe the science, and the complete opposite of the stance you've taken on the banning of puberty blockers, when you've said the NHS should deal with that. So what is it you want to do? Do you want to look through it and make a decision based on what parts it you'll keep because it fits or can fit with your own opinions and disregard any of it because it doesn't fit your own opinions? It's a scary way to govern in, in, I, uh, in, in my mind. And you keep going on about you know, the young children, you know, we've got to protect the young children. Of course, you've got to protect the young children. And if a cast report do, says doing X, Y, and Z is dangerous to young children, then you've got to accept that. Or you're talking more nonsense. You're fan dancing to this small lefty tree-hugging part of the electorate who you know fine well will not accept it if you say, right, that's it, I'm not going to do any transitions at all with young children, because there's nothing proved safe yet. There would be an outcry of lefty tree-huggers, and you're scared to upset them. When I say lefty tree-huggers, if anybody wants a description or an, an example of what a lefty tree-hugger is, just look at Patrick Harvey and Lorna Slater. See them in that Ross Greer crackpot, right? You know why I upset people like that? I couldn't care less if people like that are upset, because I do actually genuinely one which best for children, because I do in my volunteering time run an organisation that has 200 kids on my duty of care. So I, I genuinely do want what's best for kids. Slater, Ross, Harvey, folk like that, do nothing to look after kids. Do not have an opinion in kids. Shouldn't have an opinion in kids. Especially when you consider they are Scottish Greens who should be sticking to what the Scottish Greens were created for, and that's environmental stuff. See anything like this? About trying to put... When you think about it, puberty blockers are about trying to keep children as children. Think about that for a minute. Who would want people not to reach puberty? And you may want to hide behind or oh, we're worried about them because they want to transition. The only two people that I know that changed sex, both done it, as adults. Didn't stop them. You don't need to do anything with children. Let them be children. Okay? So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, but, as I say in all my videos at the end of them, unless you are the SMP who can read a 400-page document in, in a week, or the Greens, who have decided to disregard it because it doesn't suit their ideology. See everybody else in the world, or the normal people. Have a great day. Cheerio bye now.